all right friends congratulations for making it to halfway we are in the middle of the course now and uh, give yourself a pat at the back you have accomplished a lot with me and right now what you're going to do is we are going to begin mobile mobile commerce okay and we have a lot to cover in mobile commerce because mobile commerce is one of the fastest growing uh, e-commerce strategies and we are going to try to apply that to our own business the scrumptious indulgence business and while i'm working on this chapter with you i would go back and bring the business plan that i spoke to you about in the beginning of this course the business plan how far along have you come with the business plan we are going to go through it and right now i think we have enough information to be able to populate the business plan if you are if you have already chosen a business or a business idea you can go ahead and fill out the business plan with me so during this chapter the main thing that we're going to do with the put your learning to practice section we are going to be populating the business plan all right then let's divert our our attention to the mobile commerce uh, mobile commerce concepts landscape attributes drivers applications and benefits okay so what is driving the mobile commerce market why are people driven or why are people more inclined to work with mobile and what's happening with the mobile scenario is it still the apps only mobile scenario or are we using sms as well and how has the broadband connectivity and the connectivity with the like the 4g and the 3g and the 5g and whatnot we have those connect those kind of connectivities what are they doing how are they impacting the e-commerce scenario we're going to find in this chapter as you can see the definition of mobile commerce or m commerce or m business these are the same words for that mean the same interchangeably uh, used words any business activity conducted over a wireless telecommunications network or from mobile devices is known as mobile commerce and mobile commerce is getting very common nowadays i will i will demonstrate several applications that are taking mainstream space for consumers to be able to procure and to be able to purchase to be able to you know carry on any kind of transaction possible on a laptop or on a desktop uh, publishing computer so mobile has taken the lead and for this reason we need to be able to understand the needs in the mobile environment the needs of the consumer in the mobile environment the attributes of the m commerce are ubiquity convenience interactivity personalization and localization all right so what else we have here the landscape of mobile computing uh, computing and m commerce okay in the technical foundations of the mobile commerce we have standards for example 3g wi-fi 4g vmax connectivity standards we have wireless networks and transmission media we have internet access standards we have hardware mobile devices you do not need to worry about any of these standards here the reason being because these standards remain the same regardless of wherever you go around the globe these standards remain the same these are engineering and technology standards and based on those standards the framework for amp commerce has been set up the hardware or mobile devices software micro browser apps support technologies gps gis barcode rfid and others then you have support services for example you have mobile portals you have voice portals we have wearable devices you have smart cards and you have miniature computers and processors okay so these are all the technical foundations and many of these you're familiar with we spoke about gps and gis and barcode rfid and others okay let's look at each one by one 
if you look at the standards here, the 3G and the Wi-Fi, 4G, VMAX, these standards, okay, if you look at the 3G, we know that 3G is the um, mobile data connectivity, 4G, 3G. Wi-Fi is your local connectivity with the, you know, your, with your immediate surroundings. And VMAX is a radio wave connectivity. I have a definition here. Please check this out here. The VMAX are worldwide interoperability for microwave access is a wireless industry coalition dedicated to advancement of IEEE. That's the um, network of engineering engineers and all, all of those uh, organizations 802.16 standards for broadband wireless access okay and these standards they determine the kind of 3g and 4g quality and uh, the quantity and the bandwidth available for the consumer so what is a vmax network a vmax network is a family of wireless communication standards initially designed to provide 30 to 40 megabit per second data rates with the 2011 update providing up to 1 gigabits for fixed stations. Okay, so you can Google this in your free time, just giving you an idea that the M commerce or mobile commerce is based on these technical foundations. You should be able to understand and appreciate how and to the degree or to, to the extent to, at which the users, your consumers are connected with each other and with your application and with your website. And, um, you know, in short, with your business. So wireless networks, transmission media. We have many wireless net network transmission media like the radio waves and uh, many other waves that we catch in our TV in our radio and in our car while we are driving so all of these networks they also are associated with the mobile mobile uh, networks and the mobile uh, applications internet access standards that is the internet access protocol that you see uh, established in your modem then you have another devices that are helping you connect with the internet then you have hardware or mobile devices or other devices. Then you have software or micro browser apps. Okay, you have micro browser apps like Android, the operating system Android. You have Windows for the uh, mobile. Then you have Apple systems, Apple computers, Apple uh, operating systems. And you also have a bunch of others like, um, I forget the name. Um, many operating systems uh, with the same name as the phone itself so you know what I'm saying it's the all the software micro browser apps that are available to you all of these have a standard of communicating between you and the uh, business provider support technologies are available okay support technologies from your telecommunication service provider okay that's the main main guy here then you have the gps the global positioning system and the glo global interface system or something like that and barcode rfid we talked about that radio frequency infrared device and others so all of these are able to talk to your mobile device that's what i'm trying to say all of these work together, play together to be able to communicate with you in many different ways. Support services like mobile portals, voice portals, wearable devices and smart cards. So you do have smart cards, you have barcode readers, you have those images that you can scan and uh, your phone is going to recognize based on the database stored in the app, uh, the, uh, the server where the app is located and then you're going to have uh, you have wearable devices you have many other things that will interact with you to bring the whatever you need whatever information whatever product whatever service you need bring close to you then you have things like miniature computers and processors that are attached to 
any any device anything maybe it could be a display on your uh, on your the cable unit your dish unit that interacts with you with your remote and your tv so that kind of display unit or the display panel on your tv itself mobiles can communicate with anything nowadays okay so these are the technical foundations of the mobile or smartphones then you have capabilities or attributes we're going to discuss each of these in detail ubiquity mobility broad reach connectivity convenience personalization cost reduction i'm going to cover that start covering that in the next video for chapter five but for now just want to explain this diagram clearly then you have m commerce l commerce m enterprise mobile consumer applications personal devices devices these are the applications of when all of these play together they yield these kind of applications these kind of possibilities you have drivers powerful technology handset culture service economy vendors push mobile society cost performance so we have all of these drivers that are pushing mobile commerce to the top uh, of your of the list then you have smart cars home offices app appliances digital cities hospitals factories smart grids i mean we've heard about all of these one point or another in our lives the smart cars that we have the capability to find your car with the aid of an application stored in your mobile phone this is nothing new you can look for this app you will find it in the google store or apple store just look for the app that helps you hunt down your car so i mean with the push of a button your mobile your smartphone can figure out where your car is parked if you have lost your car then you have home offices as well all connected through mobile devices and you have appliances for example you know there is this famous technology that connects your mobile phone to the sprinkler system in your backyard or your front yard where your garden is if you have a garden and if you install the system the system will talk to the application when activated in your smartphone and you will be able to assess the temperature while you're at work or maybe you're on a vacation as well you can easily find out what the temperature is in your garden what kind of water precipitation all those readings you know it will give you and if, if it will also enable you to turn on the faucet turn on the sprinklers and then when when you're done for 10 15 minutes you can set up the timer these sprinklers will turn off okay these are the kind of connectivity and these are the kind of possibilities that you have what can you do to integrate your business to this level so you have to think of these things then you have digital cities with the advent of uh, e-government in most countries the e-government is being implemented using the internet service providers so what happens is if anything for example you have um, a ticket you're driving uh, countries like here in uae and usa and uk you're driving you get a speeding ticket immediately you get a message on your phone that you just exceeded the speed limits and um, if you have a dispute you can contact this number and this is the cost of your speeding ticket and this is where you pay and uh, this is the link all of this information in a small paragraph will be available to you on your mobile the mobile device hospitals if there is you know they would give you an app and as soon as your turn is up they will just call you with the help of your app they will vibrate your phone so that you can just show up for your appointment there are many many other capabilities hospitals are using mobile apps you know apps that they uh, approve of or they uh, they develop with software engineers that are able to read your heart rate you know all those kind of prevention uh, medicine going on here you know trying to avoid people getting sick so all of those things are being uh, you know sanctioned by the hospitals for the general public to be able to use then you have smart grids smart grids are very interesting we're going to talk about smart grids i did a google search on smart grid and uh, this is what i found 
let's check it out a smart grid is an electrical grid which includes a variety of operational and energy measures including smart meters smart appliances renewable energy resources energy efficiency resources and a smart grid system includes a variety of operational energy measures including smart meters smart appliances renewable energy resources and energy efficiency resources electronic power conditioning and control of the production and distribution of electricity are important aspects of a smart grid what smart grid would do is it will talk to the electricity department the department of energy and tell them what's what what it's experiencing so it's like a smart device that will give you a lot of readings a lot of measurements and this concept has been implemented in a, in many places in agriculture in you know uh, genetic engineering in zoos and horticulture many many areas have used the concept of smart grid where machines are planted so that they can give you measurements and readings and a complete uh, you know intellectual database can be deduced out of uh, such smart grids so these are the possibilities available to you ubiquitous computing context aware innovations and intelligent systems so this is becoming increasingly increasingly smart the way collaboration is happening on mobile com computers and mobile machines this is becoming increasingly swiftly uh, a very smart way of communicating getting things done instantly literally instantly so where do you stand as a business owner how can you make use of these powerful functionalities for your own business for your own benefit for your marketing to improve your marketing share to improve your profits management cost benefit planning coordination integration security implementation and limitations this is where you decide how you can utilize the power and functionality of m commerce to favor your own business all right with this i'm going to end this video and i'm going to see you in the next video shortly take care